Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Sign of Horses. My name is Signa and I'm in our gorgeous field of grass. Look how long it is. It's longer than my arm. That is, that's probably a meter long grass, a meter. That's amazing. Our wonderful field, you can see how high the grass is. And our field was meant for the horses to graze on. But, but horses can't keep up. Now we are new here and we don't know the neighborhood that well, but thanks to our wonderful neighbors, we get to know other people around here in the village. And we managed to find somebody that can mow the grass and then we're going to turn it and make hay into it. And then we have some hay for the horses for winter. Isn't nature amazing? Because we want a lot of diversity in the plants and grasses that we give our horses, we uh, sowed some seeds last September, I think, and this is what came out of them. So we have fennel, gallsad in Dutch, and I think it's linseed in English, but I'm not sure. Grasses are just grains. Um, the grains that we have now used to be a lot wilder looking in past eras. I can see some reed-like plants and I saw, I saw it, I saw it. These little guys, don't know if you can see them, but they have these little brown flowers I guess at the end and then they sprout little white uh, stems and they have long corrugated leaves and the horses love them they're very good for them as well rabbits love them too so I'm very very happy with the, the diversity of grasses and plants that we have growing here oh you can see my little house in the background yay and this one is actually quite rare and it's growing in abundance here so yay for that can you see this is a, uh, a variation on the buttercup. So it's not the buttercup that we see with the big uh, flowers, but it, this one has tiny little bulbous flowers. It's lovely, it's lovely. I hope you can see. Chamomile. You can eat it, you can drink it. Horses will definitely eat it. We are so enjoying this place in the summer weather that we're having now. Oh gorgeous. I hope I don't make you guys too jealous. <laughs> Actually I do hope. <laughs> I hope I make you guys jealous because wow. Because wow! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> That's it. So that's our field with big long grass.
Good morning. This little tractor is so amazing. It's doing a great job of making our grass into hay. And most of the farmers have their hay in already. We were a bit late on deciding what to do. Um, we're new at this farming game and we're learning as we go along. That's what we do. Oh, it's gonna be so lovely. nice quiet morning and I thought to give you a kind of an impression of the lay of our land that it's hard to orientate around here when you're watching the video so I hope this puts it in perspective a little bit. Behind me is our long stretch of field which is about 500 meters long and we've divided it in four patches and there's kind of like a track running beside the road so they can get to the back and they can get back to the front. It has a water trough and we divide these four patches and give them a piece at a time so they don't eat themselves to death. We have a little patch right there, uh, which is and kind of like our play area or we give it to Blizz when he's hungry because he needs the most grass of all the horses and the other ones are, uh, could do with a little less. So our big field is here and then if I turn slightly where the horses are now, is our summer field. Now our summer field is way lower than the rest of the meadow so this is the soggiest part. This is also the field where the grass grows the highest and this is the other part that we have mown. Apart from one of the little patches in the big field we've mown this entire field. <laughs> the noise you hear now are birds and frogs because I'm walking towards our little pond area. So we had to put in the pond to uh, put back the volume of water that we've taken out by filling in the waterway next to the barn right there on top of which we build our riding arena. That's all in last year's vlog so watch that back, go see the other vlogs. I'll put a little eye, I think it's up there. I always get my corners messed up. I think it's up there somewhere. Hi Jackie! So this is the field we let them into and there was a big pile of wood on here from when we chopped down our huge humongous willow trees that were getting too big. They'll be fine, they're sprouting greenery already, but we cleaned up all the wood that was here, chopped it up. There's a little bit left over there because those logs we have plans for. We want to put them down in this field somewhere in a way that we can still mow around it 
but also have patches where the grass is long and where these are available for the horses to scratch on or to play with or to eat from or you know do whatever they want with them and then the muck that came out of the waterway that we drained was put on into like a basin so it could dry out and that has become a little hill the hill will probably go down over the years as it is used by the horses uh, trampled by the horses but for now it's a great way to you know have some variety in their footing and in their ground because everything here is completely flat are you still with me this bit is longer than I thought it would be the last patch of field we have is right next to my house or behind my house and that is actually part of the nature reserve that runs all along the side of the house right here so that's a beautiful haven for the birds and the wildlife to you know do their wildlife thing <laughs> and we get to have the horses mow it unless they can't get on it because that field they're only allowed on there from the 15th of June so the birds have done all their egg laying and baby bird raising and that sort of thing so we got to mow that as well and from all that came 98 bales of hay so wow Once again I hope you really enjoyed this vlog, I enjoyed making it. It was great to show you what summer life is like. This is our first... <laughs> uh, horses! What are you doing? This is our first true summer living here instead of camping out here and it's great looking back and seeing all that we have accomplished. I hope you have a great day wherever you are. I hope you give this vlog a like while you're here. And um, I will see you next time. In the meantime, don't forget to release that inner Viking. Bye. I'll try to edit in all the names of the plants. I'll do my best, do my best. All sounds simple. Surrounded by horses and flies. Brilliant. <laughs>